name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Seattle Seahawks and the Arizona Cardinals. It's an Indian summer afternoon. Perfect conditions for football, and off we go on EA Sports. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Throwing on first down is Murray. On the slant complete to Hopkins. And they're able to get this one across the 35. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. down this is guys and this winds up a pickup of two maybe two and a half to about the 39 he's brought down a two yards on the carry there it'll be second down brings up second and eight from the gun murray eluding the pressure right and the Seahawks defense gets to him, and they bring him down. Well, that last sack puts Murray and the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. Out of the gun, here's Murray. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. This is fielded inside the five. Found good room to run there. Returns at 14 yards. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now. First and 10 at their own 18. for Nick Chubb, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels, because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, there's nothing but room to run. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Seahawks. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? For some punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Yeah, well, yeah moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, to have that dagger play, to have that play and just finish him off right now, because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. On first down, Wilson. Open man, Hamler, that's complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. At the Cardinals' 45-yard line. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. And past 
the 35. He'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. A gain of 13. It's a first down. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They try to continue that trend here this afternoon. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 11 more on that one and another first down. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage and they're clearing space. Now, despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Now on second and 13. Wilson, that is into the hands of Patman. And they'll get this down to the 10. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. From the 10, first and goal. Here's the option. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Their mobile, agile quarterback, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. And this will give the Seahawks. Michael Dixon to kick off for Seattle. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded right around the eight. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. At their own 26-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. To throw again, Murray. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Shotgun now for Murray. Flush to his right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Seahawks seven, Cardinals nothing. They'll run with Chubb, and that'll get him halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three-yard line. 
the tackle made. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll look to run with Taylor. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Touchdown, Seattle. Jonathan Taylor, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. And it's up and good. Makes the score, Seahawks 14, Cardinals nothing. Michael Dixon to kick off for Seattle. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Takes it at the seven. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. We'll check on his status when we get back. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawk defense. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon. And guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. It's been such an impressive first half to get that lead. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. Here's Michael Pilardi now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Pulled in at the 24. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here, that could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? So how, do we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. complete. Five yards. Now it's third and five. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. This is Hamler on the receiving end. Wilson's the completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. That was impressive to me because while it was a pass play, they still rallied to the football like they were filling running lanes, and they were able to put the receiver on the ground. Fielded just inside the 20. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and the Cards will take over first and 10. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Christian Kirk, the man he was looking for, and it's third down. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. The Cardinals on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and six. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done.
Murray staying put for now. They'll go for it on fourth down. They do go for it. It's Murray. Flushed out right. And this is incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And Nick Chubb, his second touchdown on the season. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. And it is now 21 to nothing. Makes the score Seahawks 21, Cardinals nothing. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taken in at the three. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. At their own 23-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down, caused all of that. it caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Throwing again. Murray. He'll buy some time right. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move? Trying to force it to Hopkins, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 37, and he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. By the Seahawks. And he may want to track down that football because that's interception number one on his career. You're saying that's going into the trophy case? I'd put it there. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's when you ask the equipment guys to make sure they hold it for you after the game. But if you play in the back seven on defense, that's part of your job, finding ways to take the ball away from the other team. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball in field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. Well, they gave themselves options there on the third down play and were able to convert on that RPO. Shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. And the Seahawks are going to have it first and goal as he'll take this down to about the three. That's a nice job there defensively, being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Stepping up, he'll try and run. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. Now, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. They'll give it to Chubb, and he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Touchdown, Seattle. Nick Chubb with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. Extra points safely through, and the route is on here in this first half. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be fielded inside the five. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. At their own 22-yard line. 
Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Just don't want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go. Oh, they've intercepted Murray for the third time. Picked off at the 16. Well, I tell you, Brandon, this ball's intercepted, but it is third down. So the silver lining is that since this is so far down the field and there wasn't a big run back associated with it, really this kind of works like a punt. It's not an altogether bad result. After the interception, here's Wilson. Looking deep down and got his man complete. Pass the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown! First half is winding down. And this offense continues to pour it on. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels. And that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. Take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively or offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. To throw again, Murray. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. For DeAndre Hopkins, incomplete. Brings up third down and 10. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. A final shot before half for Murray. Blitz coming, and down he goes. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. And likely time for one final play here in the half, so they will go for it on fourth down. Now he lets it go deep for Kirk, and they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a rout. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. Pulls it in at the 13. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a let down. It was fairly easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. And incomplete on the deep ball. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead, but these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play. 
unable to connect in that attempt. They go play action now. Wilson. And that will be incomplete. So good work there on the defensive side for the first drive of the second half. And until their offense can get into rhythm, their defensive players and staff have got to say to themselves, we've got to make it work. We've got to stand in here and make sure nothing else happens until our guys start moving the ball. That'll go as a 42-yard punt, but a net of 32, they had a 10-yard return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And last time they were very fortunate, this offense. They went for it for a turn it over in their own territory, but the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold but it he up. he trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. And we'll see what his offense can do. And he'll get it down here to the 43. And defensive back Jamal Adams in on the stop. Second and five now. Murray escaping the pressure right. Going right side here, and that's complete. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. They talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, the passing windows are just not there, and that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. Now a dump off here complete. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 12-yard line. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Operating from the gun, Murray eluding the... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Jamal Adams. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage. But instead, he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw it right into it for an interception. Now Wilson. He'll find Metcalf. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. And all the way in, touch 96 yards. As his guys continue to put this one out of reach. So from back deep, deep in their own territory, all the way Joey's into the end zone. Do you think they expected to score on that one? I'm not sure they expected to score, but they also showed that they're not averse to taking a little bit of a risk there, right? Taking a chance because the normal call is take care of the football, run it, be safe. Instead, they put it in the air and took a gamble, and it paid off in a big way. That wasn't an analytics call. That wasn't a fantasy guy's call. That was like a video game call right there. It was a little bit of a video game call, but it worked. First and 10 at their own 30-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last... And now here is another interception. Picked off at the 48, and his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. And I'm starting to wonder, Charles, if five interceptions, is that the last that we've seen of him? Well, I think that a lot of people hope that's the last they've seen of him in this game, probably including himself. If this were baseball, the manager would have been at the mound already and asked for the ball, and he'd be in there getting a shower. But in football, you might have to go stand on the sideline and watch the rest of it and see if your backup can do any better. Now Wilson. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's going to get this deep onto Arizona's side of the field. 
complete. A big play that time for the Seahawks. 41 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs, and sometimes you can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate, incomplete. Phoenix, Arizona is the spot. Glad to have you along for the ride. Third quarter action and a second and 10 upcoming. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Jonathan Taylor. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. And it's third down. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. There's Wilson to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Normally, you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. And his kick here is good. And they're well on their way now as the lead grows even larger. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coach is always talking about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. The Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together. And say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. by Antoine Winfield. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Throwing again. Murray. Got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. It's a gain of six. Makes it third and four. He can run for it, and he will. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. They'll get a couple of yards on the keeper, but it's going to lead to a fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but field it. I say go for it. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. They've been burned twice already on fourth down, but the third time's the charm as they keep the drive moving. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been many. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. A gain of 13, it's a first down. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. Now Murray, he bootlegs it. They'll roll him out right. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat. And if he flushes out, they're fine with that. And they force another incompletion. You got to love it, baby. And Give me some more. He is in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. David Njoku, 40 yards. And the Cardinals claw one back. And there's a situation where as a tight end, once he gets that end zone in his sights, he's not going to back down from anyone. He doesn't worry about running to daylight. 
He doesn't mind running through contact. That's totally fine by him. And he will get into the end zone as the deficit moves from really bad to slightly less than really bad. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Takes this about five yards deep. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. They're on 17 yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Still comfortably on top, third quarter as they start things here with a first and 10. And look at this, they come right back with a big shot downfield. 20, 10. A big play that time through the air. 83 yards. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. For Seahawks, 45. Cardinals, 8. They'll try to run this one in. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Taking it in from a yard out as his guys continue to pour it on. They seemingly just continue to score at will, and <laughs> as great as it's been for the offense, you got to feel for that defense down there. I love that you use the word will because both teams came into the game with the will to win, but one team is offense that's in tatters after what they faced in this ball game. The kickoff for Seattle. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. At their own 27-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Second and 10 now from the 27. To throw again, Murray. The Seahawks defense gets to him and they bring him down. Well, that last sack puts Murray in the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. Brings up third down. From the gun, Murray. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it. Unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They're going for it. It's Murray. He'll air this one out for Kirk. And this is going to be incomplete. The Cardinals unable to convert there on fourth down. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. To throw is Wilson. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. But it brings that looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag. Because when you do, you just put the ball on it and then let it run and get some space. And the Seahawks are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll run here with Taylor. And he's across the chalk into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Jonathan Taylor with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And this offense is running away with this one. Extra point splits the uprights, and that will extend this big lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Pulls it in at the 13. 
And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. First and 10 at their own 29-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. He was covered by Antoine Winfield. The Cardinals on third down. Can you believe it? 0 for 9 thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Able to find Isabella. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Murray throwing complete there to Hopkins. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. That's going to be caught by Kirk. That catch good for only a couple. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Second and eight at the 29-yard line. This one caught by Isabella. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 17-yard line. A gain of 13, it's a first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's gonna have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. A 34-yard attempt. Fairbairn able to put this one through. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. <laughs> and that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here, first and 10. Play action, it's Wilson. Looking downfield and that's caught right side. He's got his man. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The catch and run gonna wind up netting him 33 yards. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Now it's Wilson. Now they set up the screen. That's good three. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. A good first down call as the screen play gets him nine. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Play action. Now Wilson sliding out of the pocket. Now he'll let it go deep right. And this is taken in at the five. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Check the button. 
They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will get into the end zone. It's looking incredibly likely to be a 3-0 start to this season. That is obviously excellent. 2-0 is one thing. 3-0, you really have some momentum. And now they're serving notice to the rest of the league that they're a pretty darn good football team. Confident, aggressive, attacking at all times. This looks like a team that you're going to have to deal with. And guess what? Behind closed doors, they're trying to figure out ways to get better. The Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. The pro bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. And it's third down. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. Intended for Christian Kirk, incomplete. Sets up fourth down. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. Now Murray's got to have this one. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. For the field goal, a 46-yard attempt. And the kick is good. 